and when AI emerged in 2022 or the late 21, kind of the open AI come come into everybody's um, uh, daylight daily life, um, you kind of feel like, hey, everything is controlled. If in the future AI is going to be a threat, and anything in centralization is going to mean that we lost control of everything in our life. So that's kind of what put me into a situation where let's think of something that we could do um, at least to, to provide options to uh, our users, right? So basically, when we talk about Web3 technology, we always relate that to decentralization, the security, the privacy, right? And you own your data, all sort of different uh, contexts or key ideas of Web3. And when you take AI in today's world, if we, if we put that privacy in place and you control what you have been using and allowing that you to, to be able to take control of your uh, footprint with the AI, that's give me a, a little bit more comfort of how we would be able to uh, manage our future when AI come into our daily life. So that's kind of the, the how we started with the ideas and vision of uh, merging AI plus Web3.